Hey guys, um, welcome back to C Vape Reviews. Um, this is a camera off my laptop. Let's hope it works. But uh, what you're going to see today is the Veritas. Uh, that's what we're going over. So uh, yes, my my back got injured. I did put a post up on it. Uh, it's taken me a little bit longer to get things done. Um, hanging out with my and this is my bedroom, a corner of my bedroom. And yes, that is a helmet. It's an actual helmet that you can throw on and have somebody beat you with, I guess. But it's not about that. It's about the Veritas today. So anyways, first of all, I need to thank Pantheon Vape Labs. They're out of Denton. Uh, they are uh, known for selling high-quality uh, high-end mods and uh, this is a RDA that they donated for this contest slash giveaway and were nice enough that uh, when I approach I actually approached uh, these companies and and said hey I want to do something that's unique and these are the companies who stepped up and said yes we want to do something unique too and that's Pantheon Vape Labs, eSteam Studios, and uh, Greybeard Jenny Juice. Um, each one of those companies are very reputable, and uh, I would highly recommend. And I'm and I am so so um, pleased that they are willing to help me out with this. But as you see, this Veritas does put out a lot of vapor, and the flavor is just delicious. So if you're using any one of those three juice companies there in here, um, it's really good. Now, the unique thing to the Veritas, which uh, I have a little bit of e-steam juice here. This is the Pie Jack. The unique thing to the Veritas is how you put the juice in it. Usually you pop the top cap off and on, or you pull your tip in and out. On this one, that's not the case. You actually use the only air hole that's on here, which is rather big. Um, you just drip right into it. And what happens, and you'll see, I do an up-close video when my, uh, I was on a little bit of uh, medication. So you have to forgive me for that video. Put it in there, you you suck in the air, and it draws that juice onto the coals. And you'll see that the wells in here are really deep and uh, provide a quite a reservoir for juice to sit in. And the, the coals are like a vertical coil inside there. But there's, there's a lot of vapor production off of this. There's nothing bad about this RDA. The cost is a little bit high. It's $120, but considering the 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 amount of detail that was put into this, uh, it's a real thick stainless steel. Um, you, you will see, like I said in the close-up, what it's really about. Also, uh, we will be having another review on Sorry, my back is still not all there. Uh, Jenny Graybeard, or Graybeard Jenny Juice. They're going to uh, have a review coming out. This is their Captain Jack. Look at that. It has a little bone inside there. It's really cool. I love the, the concept of the bottle design, you know, as far as premium juice goes. <laughs> and my <laughs> other favorite one is this... Uh, this bad medicine um, on the label it reads the patient is TC vape reviews uh, directions four to six drops is needed for ultimate vaping pleasure uh, bad medicine 30 milligrams uh, 12 milligram nicotine juice and refills required reorder <laughs> but anyways I just thought that was really cool and it does have a child safety cap on it so uh, you know, your kids aren't going to go getting into it. Uh, and hopefully you're smart enough to not make a mistake in assuming that's your juice. So on the video coming up, um, 
I actually attempt to show you how to build the coils and everything, but I'm really shaky, so I kind of skipped that part. What I do show you is um, what it's all inside of it, um, what coil position is important to have inside here to make it work well, and uh, wicking it properly. Um, and you can do one of two things on the wicking, you, and this will make more sense when you watch the video. When that juice goes up into that uh, channel on the back side, you can either put that in there or actually cut that off because it's still wicking from the bottom up. That just allows more absorption so there's less, you know, if you're putting a ton of juice in there, it'll hold more juice is uh, what my concept was. But it can uh, limit the amount of vapor that's getting into it. But anyways, without further ado, here's my horrible attempt while being on some pretty heavy medication doing some up and close videos. <laughs> I apologize now. Okay guys, so here is the inside of it and as you can see I, I uh, didn't get to do my normal clean and all that that I normally do because I've been laid up in bed with my back hurting. So I've been having some pretty, well, that's pretty nasty gunked up vape right there. Surprisingly though, I didn't taste any of that. That could be the drugs. But uh, just so you can see how everything works here, you've got a center post that connects down make your coil and then you have your negative post so it's your positive and your two negatives making it where you can do a dual coil system now also if you look here how deep this chamber is that is quite the best well I've ever seen in a dripper and it just it allows for you to really put that juice into there and uh, it wicks it up just fine without any issues so uh, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna burn some of this stuff off real quick oh all that nastiness oh man it's pretty horrific <sighs> okay so um, you've got two Phillips screws here and here, and then you have your nut here. So what we need is you're going to need a uh, you know, little pair of pliers. So try not to mess the view up for you. Just take my pliers and loosen that guy right on up. And then once I get it loose enough, it's you can do it with your fingers here. And then the Phillips, you just need a Phillips screwdriver. Undo that screw and undo another that screw. And then you can take your tweezers, pull those guys right on out of there. Okay. Now you should be able to see, see bit see if we can talk. You should be able to see right here, this is the air hole chamber that goes all the way through. So when you're dripping, you're dripping into here, and it flows into here and either goes down into the cup or hopefully directly onto your coils and saturates the wick. Either way, if your wick's down in this chamber, you're going to pick that up too. Up to this top cap is super tight when you get on there. So when you first get it, and you take it apart, I would put a little bit of uh, juice on these o-rings because it is very tight and although it's not meant to sorry Amadeus is going nuts if it's not it's not meant to really pull this on and off a lot it's pretty much you build your coals, you put your wick in put this cap on and you're done uh, but since it is going to sit in there for a while and that heat's going to happen when you take it off, I would either put a little uh, dab of Vaseline around that or just some of your uh, e-juice around that to prevent it from uh, drying out those o-rings since um, this one does get a little bit warmer because of all this metal. It does, does retain the heat, although I found it's actually beneficial to the vape. 
Okay, so I'm gonna assume you guys already know how to build a well, foil. Well, I lied to you. I'm just way too shaky to try to show you exactly what I did uh, with the camera. Uh, this took me a lot longer than it normally does, but if you see, I have my coils positioned evenly amongst that air hole, and that's how you want to set it up. I I'm assuming most of you guys already know how to build a coil. Um, I will show a video later when I'm maybe not hurting so bad and have the uh, medicine in me. But, you know, you want that even glow. It's pretty important. And that's what you're looking for. You want a nice even glow. You want to make sure there's no shorts. It's not touching any metal. And that's it right there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. And, it's pretty important to show you the cotton placement. So I'm going to grab a uh, cotton ball. I use I use organic cotton balls right from the pharmacy, your Walgreens and stuff like that. But uh, anyways, you just pull off you some cotton, a good tough of it here. I like this stuff because it just rolls off. So it just rolls right on that. All right, so you want a pretty good amount of cotton uh, on the ends, but that doesn't mean you want it super thick either. So what I do is I kind of leave it thicker on one end and thin it out on the other. That's particularly just for this guy, so um, leave it like that. I come in here, make sure it's locked. Now this is the important part. Bring that cotton right on in there. And you want it where it's kind of smooth to go in there. And just in between uh, light and snug. Okay, right there. That's the spot. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is trim that with my trusty scissors here. Remember that well goes all the way down there so I'm going to go ahead and cut enough to build up in that well and then I tuck this part down underneath here. It's going to be a big old cotton ball in there. I do not want the top to go with it though. Alright. So that's in there. And then the rest of it that one in there, I want the rest to come back into this channel here. So, literally just going to cut the top of this off about right there. You can see how shaky I am. So, once again, I apologize. I'm trying to do this as fast as I can with, and at the same time, not totally destroy this where I can vape again once I get back in my my bed with an ice pack because that makes life wonderful. Alright, so it goes down in this chamber, comes up, sits in this chamber, and then I just kind of pull it back where it fluffs on top. So that's it right there. So we'll do the same thing on the other side. Hopefully I'll get better video on that side. <sighs> Tell you what, your back can make a grown man just turn to putty. Never hurt so bad. Well, your neck too, that hurts pretty bad. Alright, so now we're going to do the same thing again. I'm shaking all over the place, I can't even hold on to that. Ah, oh, jeez. Come on, Thomas. TC. Get to the TC part. Alright. This is why I didn't show you how I built that, because it was kind of pathetic. Ah. But this is life. And I try to keep it real, guys. There ain't no showboat in here. I could cut away and not let you see all the the goofs. 
Okay, so now I've got enough where I can actually grab it this time. That looks pretty good about right there. Go ahead and cut this little tough here back. And we're going to tuck all this in again down into that big old well that we like. And we're going to cut the top of this off. Stop. Stop shaking. All right. And tuck that down into that well. So now you see I have this air little air hole in, in the middle. That's the gist of how you want to uh, set those guys up. So let's go ahead and do some juice on there. And I'm quite generous on the little what I call the smoke out or the vape out. And that's when you're first saturating your cotton you want to kind of run it through the ringer here to make sure everything's going to work good. So I got it good and juicy. Alright, add a little bit more. What we're doing is we're kind of getting the cotton where it's going to wick really well by go ahead and getting the uh, the flow verified, meaning that it's going to pull from the, the well up to it. And there we go. All right, your cap goes on. You want to make sure you're lined up all with right. your air hole. That guy's set all the way down. It's working pretty good. All right, let's go out of this. Oh, that was that's a brutal perfect. attempt of showing you how the insides would work and how to coil and everything. But as you see, the vapor production in this is really good. As far as this review goes, the things I look for on an RDA like this is, you know, especially drippers. Uh, do they leak a lot? Are they? Um, are they hard to build on? Uh, do you get good flavor out of them? Is it, you know, do they pre-drill them too much? Do they not drill them enough? Those things like that. This is really one of those mods that I would say they just did a, a phenomenal job on mods, RDAs. They just did a phenomenal job on this and the aspect that one, I've yet to have it leak all over me, so I can put my juice in there up to, you see how much cotton I put in. I can put a ton of juice in this and vape on it for quite a long time before I'm having to drip again. And uh, I do about 20 drops out of this guy in it every time and, it, and it's good. The airflow is perfect for me. I, I would imagine that you being a uh, a vapor out there maybe that uses drippers already you, you would find yourself being quite comfortable with the airflow the taste is really good it's actually uh, the taste in this compared to like the, uh, the Omega the Nimbus uh, even the Patriot is right there it's got a good rich taste it's a nice warm vape and the way that they have that channel set up is just really unique out there. Um, for those of you who like the Romulus Jenny, you're going to find yourself liking this because that chamber is damn near just like the Romulus chamber, except in a dripper form. Well, anyways, guys, I uh, apologize. This video is probably rough. I have, uh, yeah, I had a back injury last uh, this last Monday and I've been out since then laid up in bed
and it's not been fun. Well, anyways, this is the Veratus. Veratus. <laughs> I'm probably tearing up the name even. Veritas. Veritas. Veratus. Veritas. This is the Veritas. This is part of the giveaway that we're having coming up. I'm promoting it so that way there's plenty of people with more than enough opportunity to do this. Um, so all you have to do to win this, uh, some juices from Easting Studios which makes 100% VG juice, uh, a couple of Primo bottles of juice from Greybeard Ginny Juice which I'm going to be doing a review on those next week and hopefully a review, one last review after next week for the mod that somebody would be kind enough to donate to this giveaway. If I don't have a, a mod come up, I will check my baked book and go, hmm, can I afford to buy one? If I can, I'll go buy one and add it to it, uh, but if I can't, I can't. That's the story of life. Anyways, this vape head is going back to his room with an ice pack. You guys have a great day and vape on vape heads.